Hi, it's Richard from In The Box Productions. I hope you're doing well. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a plugin that I use all the time. And I mean all the time. On every mix I do, I use this plugin. It's absolutely essential for mixing. And uh, I think I heard it was Hardwell first talked about this about three or four years ago. I bought this three years ago and haven't stopped using it since. So let me dive straight into what it is it's called track spacer so let me just open this up it's from waves factories it's a really good plugin so here we have track spacer and what this does is it side chains frequencies from one track to another so if we insert it on this keyboard track and then use the vocal as the source using the side chain which i'll show you in a minute this will duck all the frequencies that are uh, getting in the way so let me just play this So if we solo the, the keyboards here, and then you can see the frequencies here that are gonna get in the way, and then just check the vocal, do the same thing. You can see there's quite a lot of frequencies that are getting in the way here. So what we need to do here is, um, we need to side chain here. So we bring in the source, the Devon Lyric here, insert it through the side chain window here, and then this will basically sidechain the frequencies from the vocal track to the keyboard track and it will duck them. So as you can see here, the frequencies are being ducked and if I dial this in even more and exaggerate it, you can hear it. Just cuts them out completely. So you dial this back out very subtly and then this is just going to control those frequencies nicely. Really, really, really useful. What I do is I insert that on the keyboard bus and uh, so when you've got a lot of elements in the mix that kind of just ducks them all out and it's really nice. You just do it subtly and it just lets the voice sit there. So here we have um, a high and low pass filter, these two knobs here, and you can adjust the filter to where you want it's a duck, so if I just bring that down to say 700 and then bring the low pass up to 500, this will just duck those frequencies that I've selected. So here we can do exactly the same thing with the kick and the bass, or the drums and the bass in this case. And um, if I open up track spacer on the bass part here, you can see the frequencies of the of the drums being ducked. The blue is is what's being what's coming from the source, and the white is what's being ducked. So if I go into the sidechain window and just select the drum track, and then we can see this works exactly the same way. Here we have some more functions. If we click on this little dot here, this opens up this window where we've got the release and attack, a bit like on a compressor, but you can also push this right up to hear it hold the, uh, the side chain down. Not exactly what we want, but I'm just exaggerating to show you what that does. We dial that back down so you can hear it. Here we have the side chain button way too loud but you can hear the drums uh, that's the signal on its own so let's have a listen to everything together now there you can hear that the, the mix is breathing it's like got a lot of space in it here it's really flat and if I put it back on you just hear those vocals sits nicely So since I've bought this plugin three years ago, I've used it every time I've done a mix. I mean, it just it just saves me a lot of time surgically going in and, and cutting frequencies and stuff like that between the bass and drums and keyboards and vocals and all sorts of things. So yeah, it's just become a, a must-have go-to plugin that does all that for me automatically. So if you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and learned something, leave me a comment, like, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff. And I will see you soon.